not me. Yes, I am. I'm much taller. No, you're not. You're fatter, though. No, I'm not. We're the same. We're not the same at all. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I'm greater than, lesser than, and equal to the universe. You know, I'm greater than it because I can contain it in my mind, and lesser than it because that's obvious, schmuck. And I'm equal to it because I'm of the same atoms it is. And I always say that what that does for me is connect me to everything and make me a part of it. I, I earnestly believe that it is all one spirit, all one energy, all one beat, and there are just these different manifestations of it. Because of that, I feel very safe in the universe. I feel very comfortable and very home, at home because it is only me. And, and hey, it's only me. Remember that? Hey, it's, no, it's okay. It's only me. Well, that's what, that's what the universe says to me. Nothing this shit can scare me, because, hey, oh, oh, it's only me. No fucking problem. So everything that exists is everything that exists. I am everything that exists. So are you. The more you realize that, the more you open up to the full infinity of who you are. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. Don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. That is the problem. That's the crisis. It's not political crisis, economic crisis, or the crisis of war. But the crisis is in, our, in, our, in ourselves. The way out of this is the ultimate revolution. It's to be who we are and not what someone else tells us we should be. Christ's. Buddhas, Krishnas, Muhammads, Wavokas, you are all the same as them. Every single one of them said that to all of you. He did not mean follow him in a religious context. He meant be the way I am. So you listen to because me. Because you are. Listen to me. That way. Go to yourself. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube, you eat like the tube, you raise your children like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. We are the illusion. We have created this society. So we are responsible for that society. But is it, is it possible not to change society, but is it, is it possible to radically, deeply transform our conditioning, our consciousness, which is what we are, is it possible?